Hey everyone, it's Pam and welcome or welcome back to my makeup channel. Today I'm just going to be using some new products and giving tiny sort of little mini quick thought reviews on all of them. This includes some new products I picked up from Auric Cosmetics as well as all of the things I got in the recent Sephora sale. Every time I do an intro like that, I feel like I need some actual intro in my videos. Maybe I'll look into getting one of those one day. Oh, I also wanna say welcome, any new people. I know my BoxyCharm video brought in a few new subscribers to the channel. Uh, so let's start out with what I got from Auric. Auric is Samantha Ravendahl's brand and I've really loved everything that I've tried from them. They recently released a new product called the Plush Ritual, which is a lip ceramide treatment and I thought it looked great. I wanted to try it. Also, they got one of the eyeshadows back in stock that I really wanted, so I ordered that as well, along with a glow lust for my mom. And Oryx Great is very expensive, like a little too expensive, and they had a free shipping thing, which was really nice, except I still got tagged for like $30 in customs fees when it came, so that sucked. But let's get to the actual products. This is what it looks like, it comes in the same container as their eyeshadows, and it's just this very sort of bare pink color. It has, it has a beautiful smell, sort of a little bit vanilla-y, and it feels incredible on the lips, just very soft, very like moisturizing and smoothing. I have found since using this, I usually use it not too often, but you know, before bed or something, or uh, sort of to prep before putting on a lip product, like what I'm doing now. I have found my lips have been less chapped since using it. However, that also coincides with it turning from winter to spring. So that probably has something to do with it. Now, one of the things about this is it comes with a little jade spatula in the top here. And I watched Sam's video on it and she was very excited about these little jade spatulas. And they're very cute, but I personally, if they could knock five bucks off the product and not include this, that would be perfect for me. I just don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Like it feels like it'll dig too much into the product. It'll sort of take too much product up. And then what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to rub the jade on my lip? Am I supposed to take it off on my finger and then rub it on my lip? I don't know, people don't like dipping their fingers right into projects because of, uh, pans because of, I guess, hygiene issues. It's just me using it. If that's gross, oh well. But uh, yeah, I find this is absolutely useless. So I would really love if they would have one that just, just had the actual product and maybe was a tiny bit cheaper, but still, I really like this. It's super comfortable. So the other product I got is the shade, oh, this is not the right shade, one second. The other shade I got is the Smoke Reflect in Ego, which is a beautiful sort of gunmetal gray. And I have a video where I use the other one in Tice and um, sort of all my thoughts about that sort of apply to this. It's just this beautiful cream color and it's really nice to work with. You can like really build it up to have like a sort of statement eye or you can blend it out nicely. The topper shade, I actually, shadow, I actually like this one better than the one, than the green one I had because that one was more of like a topper that just sort of added a gold shimmer. This is more of a real like, has a bit more opaqueness to it. So you can either use it on your own or use it to top the cream shadow and just give it a little more shine. Okay, so now we're going to get onto what I got in the Sephora sale. I am VIB, which meant I got everything for 15% off and had to wait a little bit before the sale started. When, before it was my turn, all I had in my cart was a Tower 28 um, duo of a cheek product and a lip gloss and it was like a, a sale for getting them both together. And by the time it was my turn for the sale, uh, it was out of stock. However, I watched a lot of beauty videos uh, leading up to the sale, all of those what you should buy in the Sephora sale. And that, uh, 
that lightened my wallet quite a bit. Most of all of these things were something I had seen uh, beauty YouTubers that I like talk about. So we'll get started. If you remember from my BoxyCharm video, I was disappointed that I didn't get the primer that I thought I was going to get. So I decided to get a mini of one of the Rare Beauty primers. Uh, I went with the Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer as opposed to the Illuminating Primer, uh, just because I wanted to try that out. So it comes in this little teeny bottle. It's got a nice texture, um, sort of like a silicone-y texture, but it doesn't feel real slippy like those can tend to do. So I just put this on sort of focusing on the center of my face and then just blend it outwards. It feels really nice. Uh, again, it's like a poor blurring. So any sort of imperfections, it sort of hides those a little bit without adding any color, but it's been pretty nice so far. Um, I honestly kind of like it just on its own. It looks really nice, but so far, I've only tried it with one makeup, with one uh, face product over it, which I'll show you, but I, I am liking it. I also really love when things come in a mini. Being able to try something for a little bit cheaper and not have so much product that it's gonna go bad before I have a chance to get to it. I really wish more companies would have minis as just sort of a standard thing. Now this next one, I was swayed by oh, a few people that I watched were talking about this. This is the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. And I love little tinted serums, tinted moisturizer, anything with just like a tiny bit of coverage. This one looks kind of weird. It looks like it's just got all these um, sort of pigment globules <laughs> floating in liquid, which is strange. You are supposed to put this on your um, your hand and then blend it out with a brush and then apply it that way. And when I first tried this, I didn't love it. This was pretty expensive. I think this was $65, which is a lot for this. Uh, I've started out using uh, this kind of brush, which is what I usually use for foundation brush and like a big flat surface. And I found when I blended it out with this, the product just all went into the brush and I felt like I was wasting so much. Like, oh, I don't wanna waste this $65 serum and have it just go in the brush. So I started using it with this guy over here. So more of just like this kind of paintbrush style foundation brush. And I always found these pretty stupid. Like I, I found them kind of streaky. I don't know how this is supposed to blend properly, but with this in particular, because it's so liquidy and watery, this actually works really well because I can blend it on the back of my hand without it all, all the product soaking up into the brush and it applies it very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I've got some mixed up on my brush. I'm just going to sort of paint this over my face, just sort of distributing the product, getting it all off my hand, and then just blending it in. Yeah, this brush, as I said, it's very much just like a paint brush. So I don't feel like this is a particularly blendy kind of motion, but it works well for this because it is so incredibly light. Now you're not gonna see a whole bunch of difference because the pigment isn't intense. It's just going to sort of give me some illumination for the skin, a little bit of color correction. I'm just going to take a tiny bit more around my nose, which has a little bit more redness. And that's it. I'm also taking this right up under my eyes because I think I'm going to skip concealer today because I don't have any new concealer to put on. But yeah, I I quite like this. I love how light the texture is. I like the very minimal coverage. It feels nice. It wears nice throughout the day. Do I think it's worth $65 for this? Not particularly. I would love to find one that is half this price or less, but it is very nice to work with. I have been finding lately with 
even the light coverage stuff I use, like my ColourPop Pretty Fresh, it sort of sticks to texture around my chin in places. And this doesn't stick to texture at all. It's sort of almost invisible on the skin. And I really like that. Next up, I got three cream blushes. I just love cream blush so much. And I've been really wanting to try different kinds and different colors. So the first one I got is another Tower 28. I have tried this one before in a peachy shade. This one is called After Hours and it's the Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm. And this is the deepest shade that they have. It is a nice sort of berry tone. I've used this a few times. I find it doesn't blend out as nicely as I would like it to. Uh, the other one I found really easy to just apply with my fingers and I it kind of feels a little bit patchy when I just apply it with my fingers. So I found that I have to uh, sort of put it with my fingers and then use a brush to blend it out a little bit extra. And the wear also wasn't incredible, like it sort of started to fade throughout the day. So I still need to work with this a little more, but this isn't my favorite. Um, and I don't like it as much as the other Tower 28, the lighter shade that I got. Next is um, Item Beauty, which is a fairly new brand, I think. I think it's by some influencer I've never seen before. And this is Blushin' Like Cream Blush in the shade It's Verified. A number of videos recommended this. And I really like the packaging. It's this nice, just little cute guy that easily fits in your drawer or in your purse. This is what the, sh the thing looks like. My problem is that under no, um, this isn't a cream blush. This is a powder blush. I don't know why this is called a cream blush. I, it's very soft and like a very velvety powder, but this is not cream. There's no moisture in it. This is, this is a powder. So I feel like it's false advertising to do that. I looked up the Sephora reviews. A, a number of people had the same problem as me saying like, this isn't a cream blush, what are you talking about? And other people said it was. So I don't know, I guess this is a divisive topic, but you're supposed to be able to put this on with your fingers. I don't wanna put a powder blush on with my fingers. I don't think it works that well. Putting it on with a blush brush, like it looks nice. The color is nice. It's a very sort of sheer one, but yeah, just disappointed because I really, had no desire to add more powder blushes to my collection, but somehow that's what I've done. Now the last cream blush is the winner out of these. And this is again, another rose ink product. This is the Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color. And it is in the shade Foxglove. It's got this cute packaging and it's got a beautiful color. It's sort of almost like a natural kind of ruddy terracotta color, really beautiful. The texture is nice, like it's very emollient, like it's a very sort of like thick cream. Um, you, you know, you have to sort of have to work it a little bit in order to get it to work, but you can use your fingertips or you can use a, uh, a brush to do this, but I think it's beautiful and it's a nice sort of natural looking color. And I'm going to put this one on right now, so. Oh, also you can take the pan out so you can replace the, the pan for cheaper if you just want a, re a replacement pan after you've used this up. So I haven't taken too much, but I'm going to just squish this between my fingers and then go up the cheekbones here with this. I might've gone a little bit light in terms of application, but you can always add more. I'm just gonna go in for a little bit more. And maybe we'll finish with a brush. I don't know. I know all these ones say you can use fingers, but I find just doing a little bit of a brush at the end just blends it out much nicer. 
then your fingers. I have this spot right here where blush just doesn't want to stick. Any blush, this blush, any of my other cream blushes, it just doesn't like to sit right here. And I guess I just have to deal with that. But yeah, this is nice. I've done a sort of subtle application for now, but it's a really beautiful color and a really beautiful formula. So I like this one. Now the piece de resistance, which has been on my wish list for a while. So many people recommended this palette. Uh, Karen Harris, Julia Adams, Teresa is dead. I finally got the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. And honestly, this has always looked beautiful, but pictures and swatches and videos don't do it justice. It's got gorgeous packaging with this beautiful rose quartz um, cover. It's a nice hard plastic, but fairly lightweight. It's got a huge mirror, and I'm not usually a fan of mirrors and palettes, but this one is actually like, you can actually do something with it. It's big enough. And it's just this gorgeous, pale, cool, pink color story, a lot of pinks and mobs, but then these absolutely gorgeous shimmers as well, like specifically Cosmic Love, Moon Magic, Blissful, um, just beautiful, beautiful colors. Like looking at it in person is just so much more inspiring than looking at it in photos or in other people's videos. So this is I'm probably not doing it justice either, I would guess. But yeah, really nice shades to work with. I even find that the Love Stone color, which people are find, are, I don't know, they're kind of grossed out by it. I'm not grossed out by it in person. It's not my favorite shade. Like it's a, just sort of a, almost like putting Vaseline, just like shimmery Vaseline on your eye, um, which isn't my favorite. And I probably wouldn't put it over another color because I'd be afraid of ruining it, but it's not gross to look at, which I guess isn't much of a selling point. But uh, yeah, this is gorgeous. So this is what I'm gonna use to do my makeup today. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to go in with the shade Gratitude here. And I'm just going to put that all through my crease on both eyes. The pans on here are actually smaller than I expected them to be, which is actually kind of nice because, I don't know, there's so many eyeshadows that I feel like I'm just never going to make a dent in them. And these smaller pans are kind of, you know, give me hope that I will see pans on some of these shades at one time. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is like the most expensive palette I've ever bought. This was $88. I mean, minus the... 15% discount, but still, yeah, kind of, kind of a lot of money. So I'm happy that I'm happy with it because if I was disappointed, uh, you know, that would be a waste. Although I guess you can return things to Sephora. I've honestly never done it. And I know that if you return things, they just throw it in the garbage. So it's sort of a waste either way, except you get your money back. But yeah, so just putting that through Looks gorgeous, really nice pigment there. Beautiful color payoff. Now I think I'm going to go in with Abundance, which is this shimmer here. It's sort of like a very cool, almost grayish with a bit of purple in it. And I'm just going to take it on a small shader brush. Oh, I can yes, guess I can use this big, beautiful mirror right in front of my face rather than my vanity mirror. So this is just going most of the way, like two thirds, the outer two thirds of the lid. This is really nice. Just picking up the color a few times just to really Pack it on there, not going for a wash of color. Now I just wanna deepen the outer corner a little bit. I'm taking this sort of thinner pointy brush and I'm going to get in with Aura here, which is just a bit deeper than the Gratitude color I used throughout my crease. And just sort of packing this on the outer corner. Patting it down 
and then we can do a little a little bit of a blend at the end. Now with this sort of thinner shader brush, I'm also going to go into Aura and just put this um, under on the bottom lash. Now I think I'm going to try out this Moon Magic color, which I haven't tried before. And I'm going to just take it on my finger and I'm going to go in on the inner corner and sort of inner third. This is a very beautiful, shimmery, almost like opalescent kind of color. And I'll go on the inner third and then sort of take it a little bit onto that other shimmer shade just to blend it in. These are very soft. I feel like they might get crumbly after a number of uses. Okay, so I've sort of taken it all the way to the middle, just patting it around. Gorgeous. Actually, let me zoom you in a little here. You can see the eye look a bit better. So, that's really pretty. I love how those colors go together here. Uh, now I think I'm going to take Self Love, which I haven't really played with before, but it's sort of a marble kind of shade. It looks like a little bit of a goldy color. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to take that on the brow bone. I'm just going to take this little sort of stubby pencil brush, just get a little bit in there. And then just under the brow bone. Oh, I don't I know if I've mentioned on this, I got my eyebrows microbladed, which is why I didn't start this video talking about putting on makeup there, but I'm super happy with it. I, uh, I need to go for a little touch up because there's a few places where the color didn't take as much, but uh, yeah, it's so nice to wake up in the morning and have eyebrow tails, whereas I didn't used to do that before. Even filling in the little bits, you know, where I find they're a little too sparse, that takes like three seconds as opposed to, you know, completely doing a brow. So yeah, super happy with that. Maybe I'll talk about it more in another video if other people are interested. Okay, I'm also just gonna take that self-love color just um, in my inner corner and especially under the inner corner. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That was pretty fast, all things said and done. I find I usually spend a lot more time blending my eyeshadow than I did here, but yeah, really nice colors, sort of a lot of depth to like various sort of purples and pinks and just like such dimension in the shine, especially in this uh, moon magic. Yeah, moon magic color, just gorgeous. So that's almost it. I have one other thing here. I got this, I think I got this with points, let me. Oop, wrong way. Uh, it's a Lancome mascara base. So it's just like a, a mascara primer to give you some extra length and uh, thickness, especially before you put on your regular mascara. I do find with these, I sometimes have difficulty covering them because they're always this white color and I, like yesterday I used it and I found some of the tips of my lashes were still looking white after I put on my regular mascara. But I'm going to take the Lancome Lash Idol, which has sort of become my go-to and just quickly put that on. I'll probably do it off camera. Okay, so the eyelashes are done. Using this primer definitely makes them a tiny bit clumpier, but definitely thicker than without it. 
I don't know, this is sort of a product that I could take or leave. I did not get any new lip products, so I'm just gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Dare to Bear Lust Gloss. It's sort of a, just a pale shimmery pink color. Right for a little bit of shine. Hmm. It's all right, I guess. Maybe a bit too pale for me. Let me go in with, I have a Fenty lip gloss, just a little mini. I'm just gonna add a touch of this to the center. Oops, just picks up so much product. And just give it a little extra color on top of that shine. Okay, so that is it. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just gonna do a very quick rundown of all the products. Um, I don't know, maybe you skip to the end to see what I thought of everything. Starting with Auric, this plush ritual, absolutely beautiful, feels great on the lips. I wish that I didn't have to pay extra for this applicator that I'm never going to use, but otherwise fantastic. The shadow, Absolutely beautiful, the Ego Shadow, a really nice gunmetal gray, very nice to work with. I would not be surprised if I picked up another shade or two at some point in the future of this. The Rare Beauty, always an optimist, pore blurring primer, really nice, sort of smooths out my skin, especially in sort of like problem areas around the nose. Uh, feels good on the skin. I oh, Again, I've only used it with one product on top of it, but it worked very well with it. The Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminated Tinted Serum. I really like this. It's such light coverage. It's so nice to work with. It feels so light on the skin. It's way too expensive. $65 is honestly kind of ridiculous for this, but I do love the finish and the texture and the very... Um, light coverage it gives. I'm in shade 020. I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah, if I could find something like this for a lot less money, I would be happy, but I will enjoy this while I have it. In terms of the blushes, the item, uh, blush and light cream blush is not a cream blush. If you are a fan of cream blush, if you're anti-powder like I have been, then I would not recommend this to you. However, if you do like a nice soft powder, it's pretty nice. It's got really cute packaging. It feels nice, but I don't know. I just feel like it was, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> the Tower 28 Beach Please is all right. I find it a little bit harder to work with, possibly just because it's such a more deeper color than the other one, and it does not have the best lasting power, I think. So I wouldn't say I'd recommend this one. Um, there are definitely better cream blush formulas out there. The Rose Ink Divine Blush, really nice, beautiful emollient formula. Um, this color in particular is very nice, just a sort of, I don't know, like a natural, like you've been out in the cold or you know, you've know you had a glass of wine, like that kind of glow, I really like it. It works nice with the fingers and then just sort of finish it off with a little blend with a brush, uh, really gorgeous. And I really like that you can reuse the packaging. So if I ever do, get, do go through this, I can just buy a refill rather than a whole other blush. And lastly, the Huda, why do I keep wanting to say Huda Booty? The Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. Super happy with this. It was very expensive, but I'm not too mad about it because it is just such an absolutely stunning color story. All of the mattes I've worked with, I haven't tried all of them, but I've tried like, I don't know, four of them. Really nice uh, color payoff, very easy to blend. These like sort of Duochromatic shimmers in particular are just gorgeous and really add something to any look. Even this thing that shade that people find gross, isn't that gross? And I just, I've only done a few looks with it so far, but I just find they're just sort of pretty and I don't know, like almost ethereal and fairy-like and just make me feel uh, 
pretty. <laughs> so that's all of my recent pickups. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see in the future. If you want to hear about microblading, I was thinking I might make like a get unready with me video at some point, just sort of like taking off my makeup and doing like my nightly skincare routine sometime. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.